<laughs> Emmanuel, overall tonight, I mean, what a terrific start for you. Walk me through just your mindset as you were able to not only score yourself, but find your guys on the floor. Um, well, before the game, my mom sent me a message like this morning. She said, if God be for you, who can be against you? Um, that just gave me all the confidence in the world to, you know, go out and play hard. I knew I had God with me and I have unbelievable teammates, unbelievable coaches, you know, that push me to be great each and every day. So when you're playing with great players, great coaches, you know, it makes it easy to just go out and have fun. Our next question comes from Amanda Hajar, Next Digital. Hey, Emmanuel, uh, you got your you know, first NBA preseason, first action, first bucket, first start, a lot, a lot of firsts. Uh, you put up a huge game tonight. What does that tell you, you know, for your confidence moving forward and heading into the regular season? Uh, it's great, you know, just to get my feet wet a little bit. Um, the coaches trust me, you know, uh, and I feel like, you know, I produce, but, you know, it's just the start. I feel like, you know, I want to continue to get better. I'll be right back in the gym uh, with film tomorrow and then right back in the gym getting up shots. Uh, and I also have great vets around me. Um, you know, they help me, they lead me, and, you know, I'm just trying to soak up all the information to get better. Next question comes from Mike Borkinoff, The Athletic. Hey, Emmanuel. Um, it seems like you're pretty comfortable with that floater shot, especially finishing in the paint. Uh, is that something that you've had in your bag for a while? And, and I mean, when you choose to kind of let it out? Uh, yeah, at Kentucky, I, I think I was in like the 90th percentile for floaters. So I feel like that's something that's always been in my game. Uh, playing against bigger players, especially in the NBA, everybody's athletic and you know can block shots around the rim. So you need that floater shot as a guard. Um, and really just use it, you know, when I feel like, you know, on instinct, when I feel like I can't get to the rim, you know, just try to shoot it as high as I can and just continue to work on it each and every day. I feel like it's something that's helped me as well. Next question comes from Steve Popper, Newsday. Hey, you talked you talk at the start of camp about um, th that you were never really the highest recruited guy and stuff. You kind of feel like you're still doing that here, opening eyes, you know, from practice and in games here? Yeah, I feel like, you know, my whole life I've kind of been an underdog, so it's not nothing new to me. Um, so, you know, under-recruited, whether it be – whether I was – pretty much highly recruited, like top 20, but uh, felt I could have been in the top 10 or something like that. You know, I never try to, you know, just control what I can control at the end of the day. Um, go out and play hard and, you know, live with the results, you know, trust God and just continue to get better each and every day. Next question comes from Jonathan Macri. Hey, Emmanuel. Um, you seem to be really comfortable already drawing fouls at this level. Um, you got to the line a fair bit at Kentucky. You seem like, again, small sample size. You're doing it even more here. How, how easy has that been to translate for you? Uh, well, like you said, I did at Kentucky. I learned that my sophomore year. And it really just comes down to watching a lot of film, watching guys like Lou Williams, uh, James Harden, the way they can, you know, use the defense and really use the rules uh, of defense against the, the opponent. Um, and the ref has no choice but to call foul. Um, so really just film a lot of film work. And then I actually practice it a lot, too. So um, just continue to work on, you know, all parts of my game. I feel like it's just going to be a big uh, step for me. Thank you, Emmanuel.